What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new rebuild series, the Green Bay Packers. We are doing an alternate reality where Packers fans who are so unbelievably unhappy with how this team's offseason went in the preseason have decided to vote and fire Brian Gutekunst and yours truly will be taking over the team. And that's the reality we are living in. Uh, so we're going to do our best to win now and win for the future for this Packers team. As far as the style here, I think what we're going to do is do full play the moments for every single divisional game. And then uh, we're going to do the first week or the first non-divisional game, I suppose, we'll do all offense. And then I really like the 15 play breakout scenario thing. So I think we're going to stick with that. Um, or we could just say for the sake of this, that we'll do every play the moment on that side of the ball for any breakout scenario. So I'm actually gonna change that on the fly there. Um, and we will learn and grow and kind of, you know, this is a live interactive format here. Thanks to everyone who is joining me live. You guys are gonna help um, give me ideas for all this stuff. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're starting here in week four, just like we did for that Panthers rebuild. Uh, but the last thing I'll say is, if you're watching this here on that franchise guy, uh, this is the last time I'll say it, but uh, make sure you watch this series on my second YouTube channel. That is TFG Plays. Link is down below. It's uh, youtube.com slash C slash TFG Plays. Follow the TFG Plays Twitter account to know when we're going live. And of course, come to Twitch where you can join us here. That's twitch.tv slash that franchise guy where you can follow this whole series, my online league series, and many other great TFG contents. That's not proper grammar, but I don't care. All right, so what's up, chat? We are live. This is going to be fun. Uh, I actually have already done the cuts for this team, so we're going to kind of go back in and sign some guys, do cuts again. I saw Jack Barr was asking, how do you do this with the roster so that they don't cut all of the rookies? Well, I actually went through in my base file and made the cuts for all 32 teams. So it's already been done, but um, we're gonna we're gonna sign some free agents here. I want to go through the roster first. We know we're good at quarterback now. Rogers, his contract situation is basically at the point where we're probably gonna keep him around for at least a year. We'll see how he plays. <laughs> I'm assuming he's gonna play pretty well, and then. We'll talk about it in the offseason, what we want to do with him. I have a feeling we're going to keep him around for two years, but who knows. Uh, running back, Aaron Jones in the last year of his contract. So that's going to be definitely something we're deciding this year is do we go forward with, do we pay Aaron Jones? Do we go forward with A.J. Dillon? That's going to be a narrative we need to build throughout the year. Wide receiver, I mean, you guys have heard me 10,000 times. The, the, the job that this front office has done with this wide receiving room is an utter disgrace. So that's our number one priority. We're gonna try and fix that right now. Uh, so we're not rocking out here with a bunch of slow trees at wide receiver. Um, so that's gonna be a priority. And then tight end, Jay Sternberg is gonna be the guy for now. And we got our fullback, H-back hybrid, Josiah Degura. Uh, offensive line's in pretty good shape. Don't have to worry about that too much. Right tackle is the one spot that uh, we are gonna need to look down the road. And then defense is actually in pretty good shape. Uh, the D-line could use another piece. We do have Kenny Clark. The edge group is very talented. Rashawn Gary, we're gonna find a way to get him on the field. A lot of people saying, have him gain weight, make him a true D-end. I don't wanna do that. Honestly, his tape at Michigan when he played into your defensive line was not good. I wanna use his athleticism on the edge. Uh, we will find a way to do that, whether that's through a 3-3-5 set or something. Um, but it's it's not going to be making him a defensive tackle. That is not my plan for Rashawn Ger Gary in this realistic rebuild. The linebacker room is not pretty, but it's better than it was last year with Blake Martinez at the helm. We got Christian Kirksey. We got Oren Burks. Uh, that's probably what we're going to roll with. Maybe Kamal Martin gets involved there. Uh, and then the corner room, we need some help uh, as far as depth goes. We do have Jared Alexander. The safety room is pretty good, and we're good with the special teams. So let's go ahead and take a look at the free agent availabilities. We really only need to start with wide receiver. 
Uh, the Bears cutting Ted Ginn here. He did not make the team. Martavis Bryant is an option. We could try to rejuvenate his career now that uh, pot is legal. That sounds fun. Let's try that. Martavis Bryant. What else can we do here? Isaiah McKenzie. Uh, I want some speed. Tavon Austin. Someone that could actually. I want someone that could actually start in the slot here. Jakeem Grant gets released. There's got to be someone that makes some sense here as a slot guy. Eli Rogers. He was great in the XFL. Maybe we should sign Eli Rogers. I mean, literally everyone is a bunch of 6'3 plus tall wide receivers. Trent Taylor did not make the Niners. He ends up on the Chiefs practice squad. I think that's got to be the, the sign there. Him or Austin Prohl. Austin Prohl played excellent in the XFL. DeAndre Carter did not make the Houston Texans. All these guys would be instant upgrades in the slot. Um, now, realistic rebuild only. So like a guy like John Hightower that I think would probably be making the Eagles, we couldn't save everybody. Um, some guys we just are going to have to show some restraint in the first year or two. Richie James, another guy, he's familiar with this system. So I think the guy I'm going to go with is Austin Prohl. Live off of that uh, XFL hype. He was really good for the Seattle Dragons. So we're going to go off of that. He's going to start at slot wide receiver. Taylor Gabriel, I, don't, I didn't see Taylor Gabriel. It looked like he got signed. Um, tight end, I, I think we're actually in pretty good shape unless there's anyone that could develop here. You could look at a Hunter Bryant who did not make Detroit. That could be interesting. I think we want better blockers, though. Troy Fumagalli, bring him home. He's not much of a blocker, though, um, despite the fact that he's out of Wisconsin. I'm sure there's a lot of Wisconsinites that would want to see him. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, Vic. Appreciate it, bro. I think I'm actually going to go with Colin Jeter out of LSU. Gets practice squatted by the Bills. But he's a good athlete and a good blocker. So I'm going to go with him. Offensive line, I'm not even going to look. We're actually in really good shape. we got a bunch of depth there. D-line, we could use another like defensive tackle type. Ryan Glasgow gets released. He's a, he's a decent player. I'm going to bring him in out of Michigan. Thanks for the host, Paste, Paste Bros It. All right, so bringing in a little depth on that D-line. We do have some pieces. Edge, we are in good shape. Linebacker, you know, we have bodies. No one I really love. Whatever we have, it's better than Blake Martinez. But uh, I think we're actually going to stay put. Tempted to bring Clay Matthews back, but we really don't need that role filled. Although... With Kyler Fackrell leaving, Matthews can kind of play that hybrid. If I'm going to run a lot of 3-3-5, which I think both this team in real life and this team in this rebuild I plan on doing, that actually could work. He could play that outside linebacker role pretty well. So let's see if he can make the team. Um, and then corner room, I want some veteran help here. Tremont Williams could bring him back, but the slot corner is really our biggest problem. We got Kevin King. We still have, um, I almost said Desmond King, we still have uh, Josh Jackson. Now that slot corner is really where I'm worried. So I'm gonna sign Darquez Denard, just a younger version of Tremont Williams. And then at safety, we have some good players there. I would love to get one more body in there because we got Amos, we got Savage, and we have Chan and Sullivan, but we could use like a special teams threat, someone with some youth. And the guy I'm looking at here is George Odom, who gets released by the Colts in this world. Uh, he's a great special teamer. He's a good 40 type, uh, a good 40 time, good tackler. Um, he's going to be kind of that box safety special teamer upgrade there. And that's going to be our wave. So we have to make some cuts now. Sorry, don't mind me moving that. So at running back, we have four guys rostered. Tyler Irvin's kind of our, our return man at the moment. And then at wide receiver, I am done with Marquez Valdez-Scantling. I think of all of the crappy wide receivers we have here, he is easily the worst. We also brought Martavis Bryant in, who is basically a better version of Devin Funches. 
Um, so I'm just done with Marquez Valdez Scantling. We can still practice squad him, but I'm just over it. Uh, Jake Kumaro not going to make the team. And that leaves us still with a bunch of trees, but also Austin Prohl. I'm very tempted to also cut Devin Funches after, you know, I'm actually, with me at the helm in Green Bay, I'm going to take a chance on an athlete in Martavis Bryant. This team hasn't signed a troubled off-field question mark in about 35 years. So after finally doing that for the first time ever, I think we're actually going to let Funches go and let Martavis Bryant be that guy. Because we got Lazard, we got St. Brown. I... I mean, they signed him to a one-year, $2 million deal. That by no means was saying, um, you're going to make the team, Devin Funches. So we're going we're gonna to replace Devin Funches with Martavis Bryant. And that's going to be our wide receiver core. It's still ugly, but I think it's better than what we had. Uh, and then at tight end, I think I'm actually going to keep all of these guys, but release the fullback we had on roster. Okay, we didn't have the fullback on roster. So, you know, Degura is kind of a fullback. But we're gonna roll with those guys. Alex Light, I think we can let you go. I, I'm not gonna trade Funches. I don't think anyone's gonna want Devin Funches. He signed a one year, $2 million free agent contract. I don't think anyone's giving up a draft pick for Devin Funches. The rest of these guys were pretty good. So we only have to make three more cuts. Now I forgot we actually signed Trayvon Hester here, who I do like. I don't know if we need Ryan Glasgow, who we signed. Now, one thing that's interesting is the Packers actually moved James Looney to tight end. Um, that could be something we could actually do on the fly here. I do want to do a quick research on the fly and see if that is like full force actually happening. Because if that's the case, we could probably let that Jeter guy go and I'm actually gonna do this. We're gonna have to end up re-rating him. This is something I should probably add to my notes that I need to um, actually do on my, my roster. Um, let me just write this down here real quick. But uh, yeah, this is something I didn't really think about until we got here. But let's go ahead and do this. He's now wearing 49. And that means He's lost about 10, he's down to 276, it says. All right. Do I still like Rashawn Gary? Yeah, I like Rashawn Gary. Let's go back in. We're gonna cut Colin Jeter, or at least practice squad him. Go back to the defense. We're gonna make um, we're gonna make Hester a defensive end to fill that void left behind. Yeah, dude, the Rams' new uniforms are disgusting, absolutely disgusting, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a good way. <laughs> okay, um, Jonathan Garvin, a seventh round pick that I do not think is a good football player. I'm gonna I'm gonna practice squad him I gotta clean up clean up a spot here sorry it's taking a little bit a uh, little bit of time thanks for the follow bro we'll let and uh, yeah, we'll keep Tim Boyle around let's let Alex light go actually our our long snapper we should probably be realistic and bring him back huh which isn't fun but it's realistic so we'll do that KJ fell in the draft because he ran a 4.640. It's basically as simple as that. So that means we got to practice squad Jonathan Garvin. And then the safety room, we got room to make some cuts. So Will Redmond will let him go because we got George Odom in there now. We do still have to make one cut. Getting a little harder to make a cut here. Um, hmm. You think it's gotta be one of the middle linebackers? I was thinking of maybe trading Jamal Williams who is not gonna have any role whatsoever on this team. I think I'm gonna trade Jamal Williams here. 
because we got AJ Dillon the power back. He's not an outside zone runner. I like Tyler Irvin in this scheme better than I like Jamal Williams. So I think I'm actually gonna trade Jamal. Oh, sh okay, good. <laughs> that could have been ugly. Um, let's think of a power scheme that needs a running back. The Bucks might make sense. Um, Giants? I could see Gettleman loving Jamal Williams. And their backup running back, they have Deion Lewis, but they don't have a... I think that's a good fit there. Just a seventh rounder for Jamal Williams. Last year's contract... Maybe a sixth. I like that. All right, there is your team. Let's advance to week one here. I wanna make sure injuries are, we'll turn injuries on next week. David Bakhtiari already ready to negotiate. Okay, so let's do this depth chart. Team's already in better shape than Gutekunst left it, in my opinion. So tight end, I'm going to make Mercedes Lewis the second guy. Degura is going to be our starting fullback, but we'll make him the third tight end. Okay, wide receivers, I'm going to start Martavis Bryant. I want to change his number. What did he wear in Pittsburgh? And then Prol is actually going to be the third. Or do we start Equinemia St. Brown, who's still young, and make Martavis Bryant prove it through the fourth spot. I think that's the way to go. And then we'll have Lazard be the fifth. Okay, the offensive line should be good. Um, oh, they actually want to start Lane Taylor at right guard. That's probably best. Keep Billy Turner as a swing man. Packers seem to have a lot of confidence in Lane Taylor, so let's keep him around. But that is going to mean that Billy Turner can be our backup tackle. D-line should be good. Outside linebacker is good. Actually, we want to make sure Gary is the full-time. I just put Turner at starting right tackle. Thanks, Jack Barr. My bad. My bad. Good catch. This is what I need you guys for. Good stuff. All right, we're going to start Kirksey and Burks. But uh, Summers and Kamal Martin are right there. Can certainly earn an opportunity to play here. Uh, they have a good chance to show up on special teams for sure. So we're going to start King, Denard in the slot. That looks right. And then we should be good with this stuff. Kick return should be Irvin. Martavis Bryant can earn some reps through the kick return team as well. Long snapper. We've got our long snapper here. Third down back, looks right. Power back, we'll put A.J. Dillon in. Slot wide receiver is Austin Prohl. And Devontae Adams will actually have to be the second. Everyone else is a bunch of stiff guys. Okay, rush end, looks good. So you can't actually put... So here, here's the deal, I know I, I, know I was talking about um, not using Gary as a defensive end. And I'm still not. I'm not going to use him as like a starting defensive tackle like a lot of people are asking for. But I think I am going to put him, honestly, and Zadarius Smith in a defensive end position where I can actually use them as a rush defensive tackle where they play a ton of. So we, we're going to run, I guess, kind of a hybrid here. We're just doing what we got to do so that we can actually use these guys in their right positions. So let's see. One of these should be power rush. That's run stopper. Is one of these a power rush scheme fit? There you go. So we actually just bear with me here. I, I, I could have done this beforehand, but we can talk while we go here. We're going to make the left end position because nickel's the new base, right? So right end and defensive tackle are actually going to be our, our interior positions. And then left end is going to be kind of that hybrid Zedarius Rashawn Gary role. And this is just so we can actually use these guys at rush D tackle where they get used a ton and we can still use them and start them at outside linebacker. 
Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. And that's going to make a lot more sense. Schematically, rush end is going to be Zadarius, and we'll keep them there. And then we will use certain packages to actually sub in Gary and those guys in there. And then sub linebacker, we are going to go with Burks and Summers, slot corner. We are good. Now, Shannon Sullivan's definitely going to play a role here. He's a really nice, versatile kind of sixth man. Um, we'll get him going in our formation subs, which is the last leg here. I know this stuff takes forever, but it's worth it. Especially when you want to run kind of a multiple defense like this. we got to set our goals. We are aiming high, make it to the Super Bowl. Anything else would be a failure here. Last thing we got to do, pick a new number for Rashawn Gary. I'm going to give him a number in the 90s since he is playing a little more defensive end here. Putting his hand in the dirt a little more. Can't go 92, but we can go 99. And then let's give Clay Matthews his old number back. Yeah, dude, we got we got two online leagues going. We got this, we got the Panthers rebuild, we got deep dives coming. It's a good time. It's a good time for for TFG content. Lots of upgrades here. Alright. Ooh, Marty Bryant. There's an opportunity to stand out here. Let's do Devontae Adams. He's actually going to unlock his next ability here. Let's just stick with what he does best. Route runner. Red zone threat. With this ability, is a better chance to win contested catches against single coverage. Okay. <laughs> Blake Martinez will be, not be sniffing this team. Kenny Clark, he's going to get his next ability here, which is actually huge, because now he gets, yuck, he doesn't get any pass rushing moves, huh? That's unfortunate. That's fine, they're OP anyway, we don't need him. What's up, Brandon? Thanks you, thank you, dude, I'm glad you're enjoying the, the Panthers rebuild. It's been a fun one to make so far. Blake Martinez overall is a 65 overall. Deep threat for Martavis Bryant. I guess he probably, he did wear 88 for the Steelers, didn't he? He looks good in a Packers jersey, I'm not going to lie. I'm tempted to start him. He wore 10. Well, Jordan Love's got 10, so 88's, wow, Christian Kirksey, great upgrade there. Nice. All right, so week one against the Bears... So like I said, we're going to do full play the moments against every divisional opponent. We are going to play one game of offense only, which looks like that's going to be week three against a potentially explosive Broncos offense. And then we're going to do the, the full play the moments for any breakout week we get as well on just that side of the ball. And we're just going to roll with the same playbook and everything. If the Packers got Curtis Samuel in real life, that'd be an excellent move. He would actually play excellent in the Debo Samuel role. I would not be surprised if they're actually pursuing him pretty hard. I think that'd be a really good move for them. But, uh, you know, Packers don't make trades, so it's probably not going to happen. All right, we have a red zone look. Turn this down just a little bit. Big heavy package. Come on, boys. Ooh, there's a sack. Adrian Amos on the blitz. Okay. Good hold, guys. Oh, we have a big dime formation as well. I didn't even notice that. Just going to go base nickel here. Good job, Orton, Bur Orton Burks. Almost let him through, but he didn't. All right, that's a good hold. Hopefully they don't go for it. <laughs> Back on D, come on offense, you're better than that. 
Trade Rodgers to the Colts? Maybe in the offseason. Not going to be trading Rodgers in year one. It doesn't make sense uh, contractually. Play action. Wow. Foles just sailed that. But uh, that would be a, an interesting landing spot. All right, here we go, offense. Third and one. Should be a nice run. First down. It's almost like this Packers offense and the Niners offense looked at what worked in Madden this year, and they're like, we're going to run a ton of that. <laughs> I don't like the uh, jet sweep there. That's safety or that slot corner is just going to blow it up. Ooh, A.J. Dillon. Nice run. Good stuff. What's up, college football guy? What's up, my dude? Oh, come on. Sternberger, Rodgers has already thrown a pick. Fantastic. Thanks, Sim Engine. <laughs> Come on, Sternberger. Hits you right. That's just classic Rodgers. Just perfect throw on the receivers, just staring at nothing. Come on, Jones. Come on. I will do that, Helwiggy. Thanks for the alert. That's right around when I'll be done with my stream, too, so we can rate it. scoring game. This is just like this game in real life last year. Offensive line was holding up there, at least. Here we go. Defense is playing well. At least there's that. Alright, Devontae Adams. Should be able to roast this guy. God, that quick release is nice. I was about to get blasted, but Rodgers got rid of it. So nice. All right, St. Brown gets his first touchdown. There we go. Good route. Jesus, we turn the ball over again? Yikes. What a hit, Kirksey. Oh, I forgot to turn injuries on. Thanks for the uh, reminder there, KCP. Do I want anyone to make fantasy draft classes? I was just asking. Yeah, dude, If you do you have the draft creation kit? If you have that that I shared a long time ago, and you make classes and they are too script, that'd be great. Now, it's a big ask. It's a lot of attention to details, but if you do it, I'll check it out. Bears starting Foles is interesting. You don't think they'll start Foles? I think they actually will. There's a sack. Preston Smith. Man, this defense is balling out. It's the offense. Which first round pick would I be most surprised if he became a stud? That's got to be uh, Arnett. Well, just let me know if you finish it, Donald. I'll check it out. Oh, it's a screen. Good job, guys. Way to hold. Bears to Super Bowl with Foles? Yeah, I don't think so. I think that window is closed. Here we go, red zone look. Two minute warning. You think they give Trubisky a chance at the start? Yeah, it's gonna be an open competition and I don't see Trubisky winning that competition. So that's just my guess. 
I could totally see it either, either way, though. All right, if this is cover two, we should be able to hit Adams pretty easily on the post. Although they changed it. God, I wanted Sternberger to stay to the left. At least Rodgers put it high where only one guy could get it. Okay, we got numbers to the left. Good job, Sternberger. He actually caught one. <laughs> nice. We got St. Brown and Sternberger touchdowns. Jeez, Bears with a drive there before half. Didn't expect that. What do I think of Sam Ellinger? I think he's just a guy, honestly. I don't think he's got the arm talent. He's good mobile, you know, like a Case Keenum type, that type of deal. Good job, Burks. Wow, they ran out of time. All right. How's Degura the fullback? I don't know. I don't think he's gotten a snap yet. Is the Rams time up? I would say their Super Bowl window has very likely closed. You, you can never say never. Especially with a team that has Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. Like, in theory, if if they're draft picks and they just totally pulled everything together on the defensive side of the ball, they, in theory, could pull it out. But the problem is, like, they need to put so much talent around Jared Goff. And the offensive line's a mess. The receiver room is falling apart slowly. It's just, oh, my God, Rodgers, are you serious? All right, we're going for it here, if it lets us. It's not going to let us. Eh, it kind of is. It's technically a play at the moment. Good job. Two interceptions already by the computer, not me. It's all right. Get him out of our system, I suppose. Could Drew Locke win MVP? I'm, I'm not going to say he couldn't, man. I'm not going to predict it, though. That's all I'll say. Oh, that's a touchdown. Oh, so close. This stream's going to go till about 9.30, maybe 10. Uh, I am anticipating my Grubhub. Sorry, my, um, yeah, Grubhub. I don't know if you guys were following me on Twitter, but my Grubhub, my first order, my girlfriend and I got some Mexican food, and I think our driver decided to take our dinner home to his family. And we had to deal with that whole fiasco oh oh my god what a dumb throw Roquan duped me I thought he was blitzing and he dropped ugh that was bad three picks for Rodgers in the first game is it Jordan love time Third and seven, we're calling a screen. Aaron Jones can't get through the big, big guys. Jeez, this is a close game. Fourth and five, though. Good D, good D. All right, we're at least going to win. But, uh, geez, three picks for Rodgers in game one. Should have signed Peterman. I think we're good at quarterback. <laughs> Is Rivers a major upgrade from Brissett? Yeah, I think so. He's just so much more sharp pre-snap. Like, the offense is just going to be so much more... It's going to be so much more well-oiled. It might be an older machine operating it, but it's going to be a much more oiled machine. Brissett was just a little bit late on everything. And I think that defense has a chance to be good. The offensive line is so good. Alright, so some ups and downs in that first game. Let's take a look at our stats after that. 